Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to our next video. Hope you are aware that yesterday HashiCorp released one of the product called Waypoint. So today we will see how you can build, deploy and release your development application code using Waypoint. There will be a kind of small demo of the commands which we need to use for Waypoint for deploying. And again, it's not uh, we are not deploying to in any of the cloud platforms. It's entirely locally. So stay tuned for our next videos. So we will be releasing some kind of uh, cloud deployments using WebPoint. Yeah, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Tom. So let's see what it is, HashiCorp. So we all know, okay, we all know working with Terraform, Console, Nomad, Vault, etc. right? So they are the product from HashiCorp. So nowadays HashiCorps are more mature. They are releasing good tools, products to the DevOps communities. So I love HashiCorp a lot and recently they have introduced certifications all, all, yeah. So today we are going to deep dive into WebPoint. So what is WebPoint? So WebPoint is a modern workflow that helps you to build, deploy and release your development code across the platform. It's like a single configuration file and has the common workflow to manage and deploy in different cloud platforms such as EC2, Amazon, Google Cloud, Azure, Oracle, Kubernetes, and even Nomad. As we all know, in DevOps, we normally have three main stages like build, deploy, release. I'm not talking about any testing, but again, we can consider in this use case, we can consider these three like build, deploy, and release. So the web point build the application of your language whether it will be Node, Python, Ruby, Angular, Go, anything. In this step, your assets are compiled, validated, and artifacts are being created. And this generated artifacts can be published to a remote registry or can be simply passed to the deployment stage. So WebPoint deploys artifacts created by the build step to the variety of platform. That is one of the cool features. So you don't need to bother about the deployment stage or the configuration changes that has to be happened in the deployment stage. It configures your target platform and prepare a new application version to be publicly accessible. All the deployments have some kind of preview URL prior to the release. So basically that helps to have some in deploy stage, it configures the target application, the deployment basically accessible via some kind of preview URL before it gets released. So this helps us to have some kind of blue green deployment model because we can see the changes in the new preview URL before it gets actually released. So when it comes to release, the web point stages the deployment as we can see in the early, we can, we can see it's in the preview URL that is accessible from uh, the, to the public. This works and as I mentioned, this helps the people to have some kind of blue green deployment model. So let's see the features of WebPoint. So you can see the application logs by using WebPoint logs. So all the logs can be visible here. If you want to push these logs to any logging systems like ELK, you can able to do that. And you can have execute commands. Uh, for you can how you can execute commands in the context of running application using X bash. And preview URL, as I mentioned earlier, so you can have some kind of release URL and deployment URL where you can have some kind of blue green deployment models. And other cool feature is they provide a good UA. So here you can deploy, you can you can see what are the uh, web points, applications deployed, running or build in a web interface. Also, it can be easily integrated to any of the CI/CD uh, providers like Circle CI, Jenkins, GitLab, etc. And other than that, extensible plugin support are under these applications are available. So why we need to choose WebPoint? It helps us to consistent of our workflow to build, deploy, and release across the platform. Secondly, validate deployment across the environment. That means the help of the preview as well as the release. The staged stage helps us to have some kind of confidence before it being it, it is being deployed. 
and extend the workflow that is built in the plugin and in the extensible in interface so let's straight away go for the demo yeah let's have a demo so now i have my linux box so let me install some yamlities so first i am going to download and install webpoint through yum so let me configure the hashicorp repo and using yum i am going to install webpoint yes installation has been completed so let me see the version yeah webpoint minus v you can see the version 0.1.1 and you can see the commands okay okay so now webpoint has been installed so the next i'm going to install using the flag accept hyphen tos that helps to run the webpoint run for your publishing service installation is in progress so to clone one of the sample repository it's a node project so let me clone it first so now i am going to log into the node.js folder and going to init webpoint it helps to uh, set up uh, the project it has been initialized so now you're going to make the deployment so webpoint up as you can see the build is in progress it will take a couple of minutes to see the output yeah the deployment has been completed you can see here the building the image deploying and releasing and you can see the two endpoints so let me hit the url yeah this is the default page so now we are going to make some edit so let me go to views pages and vi index.tjs so let me make some changes here web point by skynet clouds and going to save this so now the changes has been going to deploy let's see yeah that is complete so the deployment url is this So here there is no scanner clouds. So let me see. There it is. You can see the change. Right? Uh, this is not yet deployed to any cloud environment. So if you want and if you feel that okay, the changes are good enough, you can easily deploy this to the you know uh, to any of your cloud environment. Okay. So thanks for the video. Uh, there will be next video session where we will be integrating with thank you for this watching this video hope you like the video stay tuned for our next video